Now let us see this example. Construct push down automata PDA for the language L is equal to A power N B power N such that N is greater than or equal to 1. We know that PDA is represented by 7 tuples Q comma sigma comma tau comma delta comma Q naught comma Z naught comma F. So first let us write the language L is equal to here N starts from 1 if N is equal to 1 then A power 1 B power 1. So one occurrence of A means single A, one occurrence of B means single B. Next N becomes 2, so A power 2, B power 2. So A power 2 means 2 A's, B power 2 means 2 B's. Next N becomes 3, so A power 3, B power 3. So A power 3 means 3 A's, B power 3 means 3 will be's. So likewise we can have N number of strings. So first let us see the procedure. Totally here we have three steps are there. Step one, initially push all the A's onto the stack. So if we read A, then we have to push that A onto the stack. Step two, whenever B occurs, then change the state and pop A from the stack. So if we read B, then we have to, then we have to change the state then we have to change the state. Here we have to change the state only for the first pop operation only. For the remaining pop operations, there is no need to change the state, okay? And pop A from the stack. So here the stack contains A only. So we have to pop that symbol from the stack. So whenever the input symbol is B, then we have to change the state and pop the stack. Step three. What, what is step 3? Repeat step 2 until the stack is empty. Okay. So now let us see the explanation. And now let us uh, calculate the transition function that is delta. If we calculate delta, then automatically from the delta, we can uh, simply write the, the remaining 6 tuples also. So let us write the delta. So delta of, initially we are at Q0 state. So Q0 comma. Here we, first we need to uh, take an input string, let the input string is, let the input string is triple A, triple B, let the input string is triple A, triple B and here uh, uh, the last symbol is epsilon, so if, if, if we read epsilon then it specifies that the complete input string is processed, the complete input string is uh, read -ed. So Q0 comma, what is the first symbol? A. So Q0 comma A comma. Initially the stack contains Z0. Initially the stack contains Z0. Here the third argument is Z0. So delta of Q0 comma A comma Z0 is equal to Q0 comma. There is no need to change the state. Why? Because here the input symbol is A. If the symbol is A, then what we have to do? We have to perform the push operation. While performing the push operation, there is no need to change the state. So here push means uh, inserting that uh, item onto the stack. Push that item onto the stack. Here what is the item A? So simply push A onto the stack. So Q0 comma. Now the stack contains A and Z0. A and Z0. Stack contains A and Z0. So next one. Delta of. The state is Q0 only. Q0 comma. Q0 comma. Here this A is needed. The next input symbol is A only. So A comma, what is the top of the stack now? The stack, uh, top of the stack is A. So the third argument is top of the stack is equal to, here the input symbol is A. If the input symbol is A, then simply we have to push that symbol onto the stack. So there is no need to change the state, Q0 comma. Now we have to push this A onto the stack. So now A will be pushed onto the stack. So now the stack contains A, A, Z0. A, A, Z0. So what is the next input symbol? A. So that is, now the state is Q0 only, whereas the input symbol is A and the top of the stack is A. Q0, A, A. So that is already written. Okay. So there is no need to read, uh, uh, there is no need to write uh, the transition one more time. Okay. So let us push this A is onto the stack. So now the stack contains Tribuye Jagnaut. Okay. So that is what is the next input symbol? B. 
So delta of Q naught gamma. So what is the symbol now? B gamma. What is the top of the set A? It is equal to here the input symbol is B. If the input symbol is B, then what we have to do? We have to perform the pop operation. And for the first pop operation, what we have to do? We have to change the state. So now the state will become Q1. For the first pop operation, we have to change the state. For the next pop, there is no need to change the state. So Q1 comma, we need to write epsilon. This epsilon specifies that we are performing pop operation. So let us pop this here from the stack. So delta of, now what is the state now? Q1, Q1 comma. So this B is over. Now let us read this B. Comma, Q1 comma, B comma. What is the top of the stack? A. Here there is a difference between this transition and this transition. Here the state is Q0. Whereas here the state is Q1. But the input symbols are same and the top of the stack are same. But there is a change in the state. Okay. So here the input symbol is B. So what we have to do? We have to perform pop operation. Here this is the second pop operation. So there is no need to change the state. So Q1 only. Input symbol is B. So we need to pop the stack. So pop the stack. So now what will happen? This A will be popped from the stack. This A will be popped from the stack. So let us see the next step. The state is Q1 only. So Q1 comma. What is the next input symbol? The next input symbol is what? B. So Q1 comma. B comma. What is the top of the stack? A. So delta of Q1 comma B comma A. That is already written. So there is no need to write that one more time. So now what will happen? This A will also get spawned. So this is already written. Q1 comma B comma A means what? The state is Q1 only. And it will be popped. Okay. So this B is also processed now. So now the input symbol is at what? Epsilon. Okay. Delta of. What is the state now? Q1 comma. What is the input symbol? Input symbol. The input string always sends with epsilon. So Q1 comma. Epsilon comma. What is the top of the stack? Z0. Z0. Here. Here. Epsilon specifies that this input string is popped. This input string is completely processed, completely ended. So if the input string is completely processed, then we have to change the state. Let us change the state from Q1 to Q2. So Q2 comma. Here the stack contains Z0. Let us pop the Z0 also. So use epsilon. So now what will happen? This Z0 will be popped from the stack and the stack is empty. So if the stack is empty, then we can say that this string is accepted by the corresponding string is accepted by the finite automata. Okay. So these are the transition functions. Now let us draw the diagram. Diagram, transition diagram for this one. So totally we have how many states? Totally we have three states. So the first state is Q0. Second state is Q1. Third state is Q2. So this Q2 is the final state. So Q0 on A we go to Q0 only. So this is self loop. So Q0 on A. What is the topmost symbol of the stack? Z0. Z0. If the topmost symbol is Z0, then we have to replace this Z0 with AZ0. So slash we have to write as AZ0. So it specifies that input symbol is A. If the top of the stack is Z0, then we have to replace the Z0 with AZ0. Okay. Next one Q0. A, if the input symbol is A and the top of the stack is A, then it will go to A naught only. So let us write here A comma. If input symbol is A as well as top of the stack is A, then we have to replace this A with this A with A H and not. So let us write yes, A H and not. Okay. So next Q naught on B, it will go to Q1. So let us write like this. So Q naught on B. If the, input, if the top of the stack is A, then it is replaced with Epsilon. It is replaced with Epsilon. Epsilon means simply we have to perform the pop operation. Next, so Q0 is over. So next one is what? Q1. 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 If the input symbol is B, here self loop only. So Q1, if the input symbol is B and top of the stack is A, 
then simply we have to perform the pop operation. So pop operation means we have to write as epsilon. Okay. Next to Q1, if the input symbol is epsilon, then we have to move to the uh, this state. So for space constraints, I'm writing here epsilon. If top of the stack is Z0, then replace with epsilon. Then replace with epsilon. So this is the transition diagram. This is the transition diagram. So according to these transitions, okay. First we need to write the transition functions. Next we have to note down the transition diagram. After that, let us take let us take a string. Any string we can take. Let us take a b b and check whether this string is correctly processed or not. Okay. So what is the string here? A a b b. So we have to write as delta of q naught comma q naught comma. So what is the string here? A a b b is the string. And uh, what is the top of the set? So let us check whether the string is uh, empty or not. So initially stack contains z naught. Initially stack contains z naught. So let us write here. Let us write here. So let the input string is a a b b. A a b b. So initially we are at q naught state. And what is the string here? A a b b. Initially stack contains z naught. Okay. So input symbol is a. Top of the stack is what? Z naught. Input symbol is a. Top of the stack is z naught. Then we have to move to q naught state. So q naught comma q naught comma. This a is processed. So what is the next input string? A b b comma. So if the input symbol is a and the top of the stack is z naught, then uh, we have to replace with a z naught. A z naught. Next, what is the state? Q naught is the state. Input symbol is a. Top of the stack is a. So that is Q naught a a. Then we have to move to the state. Q naught comma. Q naught comma. This a is redid. So the remaining input string is b b comma. So what we have to do? We have to push that a under the stack. So a a z naught. A a z naught. Next, input symbol is what? B. Top of the stack is a. Input symbol is B. Top of the stack is a. Then we have to move to the state Q1. So Q1 comma. So Q1 comma. So we need to perform which operation? Pop operation. So pop operation means here this B reading is over. So next we have B. So we have to perform the pop operation. So this A will be popped from the stack. So now the stack contains A z dot. Now the stack contains A z dot. So next Q1. Q1 is the state. Input symbol is B. And the top of the stack is A. Q1 B A. Then Q1 comma. Q1 comma. This B is already over. So we know that the input string ends with semicolon. So here we have to write, uh, I'm sorry, epsilon. Epsilon. Epsilon comma. Now we have to perform the pop operation. Q1 comma epsilon. Pop operation means this should be, this A will be popped from the stack. So the, here we have to write, after popping A from the stack, we will get Z0. So Q1 comma epsilon comma Z0. Q1 comma epsilon comma Z0 is nothing but what? So for space constraints, I am writing here, Q2 comma epsilon. Here we got Q2. What is Q2? Final state. As well as we got epsilon. Epsilon specifies that the stack is empty. So we can say that uh, we got the final state as well as the stack is empty. So this input string is completely accepted by this push down automata. Okay. Now let us write the <coughs> six, uh, these seven tuples. So first m is equal to q comma. Here totally we have how many states are there? Q naught, q1, q2. So totally here we have three states are there. So q naught comma, q1 comma, q2. Next sigma. Sigma means input alphabet. Input alphabet contains two symbols, A and B. Next, that, uh, tau. Tau means stack alphabet. Stack alphabet. Uh, on the stack, what we are doing? We are pushing the symbols. Initially, the stack contains Z0 and we are pushing A. Stack doesn't contain B. So, there is no need to write B. If you read B, then simply we are performing the pop operation. Okay. So, tau is over delta. So, so till now, we have calculated delta only. 
So based on the delta only we are writing these uh, tuples. Next Q naught. What is the initial state? Q naught is the initial state. Next Z naught only. Z naught is nothing but the topmost symbol of the set. And F F means final state. Here we have only one final state. That is Q. Q two is the final state. So this is nothing but the push down automata. The push down automata for this problem. Okay. Here we have written push down automata for this problem.